Using collections can save you a lot of time, but in Lightroom, the only way we could put images into collections was to drag and drop them into a collection. Apart from the quick collection, because there it was much faster, by using the keyboard shortcut B. B will quickly put any image into the quick collection. Let me just show you that. If I select this one here and I press B, that goes straight into my quick collection. If I select another one, press B, again, that goes straight to the quick collection. And that little plus sign next to the quick collection marks that that's the destination where I'm going to place these images into. And of course, I can right click on the quick collection and when I decided to have these images saved as a collection, I can always choose save quick collection. But that is a little bit of a round trip. It would be much easier if I could use a keyboard shortcut to target a collection. And that's exactly what they introduced in Lightroom 5 as a JDI feature. So if I create a new collection, let me just click here, create collection, and I'm just going to type in test, and I can choose this new option called set as target collection. Once I click on create, the little plus sign will appear next to the word test. So now, if I select an image and I press B, it will go into the test collection instead of going into the quick collection. I can select another one and press B again. And then if I click here, I can see that they are automatically placed into this collection. If you want to disable this feature, you can always right click on your collection and turn off the set as target collection, which will put the mark back onto the quick collection. And then with the same keyboard shortcut, you will be able to again use the same way as it used to be. Another great JDI feature which was introduced in Lightroom 5 is the ability to get a real full screen view. And this is something that was quite difficult before because you had to press a lot of keyboard shortcuts. So you had to press first of all shift tab to get rid of all the panels. Then you had to press space and then you had to turn off the lights by pressing L twice. And then you still didn't have the whole screen completely filled in with your image. So now let me show you how to do this in Lightroom 5 with this new JDI feature, the real full screen preview. You just simply have to press F and that will immediately get rid of all the panels and concentrate on your image. And you can still go to the next photo or the previous one by using the arrows on the keyboard. And to exit the full screen mode, again, just press F or press escape. If you tend to change your lenses on the way when you are taking photos outdoors, you probably end up having the same issues as most photographers, having these little spots on your images. And that's mainly the caused by the dust that gets into the sensor or the lens itself. Now to get rid of these, we had already a great tool in Lightroom in the previous versions called the Spot Removal Tool. But in some cases, it's quite difficult to find all the spots. You might spot a couple of obvious ones like this one here. I can quickly get rid of this one or that one there. But I'm not sure if that's all of them. And instead of trying to stare at the photo for hours, there's a great new feature, again, a JDI feature called Visualize Spots. This is here at the bottom, so make sure that you look at the bottom here below the image and you don't search for this option near the spot removal tool options so it's here all the way at the bottom if you turn this on and increase uh, the amount of this then it will reveal some more hidden spots in the image so this special view will help you to find these less visible spots as well and then you just have to click on them and Lightroom will get rid of them. So now if I turn off visualize spots and turn off the tool as well, you can see it looks perfect. And now we can make sure that if we print out this photo, we won't have any issues uh, with the spots showing up on our print. Another great feature is a keyboard shortcut for duplicating local adjustments in Lightroom 5. This is also another JDI feature. 
which uh, really helps whenever you want to use the same local adjustment on several different parts of your images. So for example, if I would like to work specifically on the faces of this photograph, then I would probably use the radial filter. So this feature is also a new feature of Lightroom 5. And I'm going to click here on her face and create a radial filter there. I'm going to choose invert mask. So I will only affect the inside part of this uh, radial area. And I'm going to increase the shadows so I can see a little bit more detail in the shadows and I might increase the exposure also just slightly like that. Let's have a look at before and after. And by the way, if you want to make sure that whenever you make changes to uh, one of your local adjustments here on the right in the panel and you don't s want to see this uh, control area, then you have to make sure that the show edit pins is turned to auto and not always. So auto means that whenever I hover over the image, I can see the controls, but when I go to the panel, it disappears automatically. So I can really have a closer look at the changes that I apply with, this, with the panel itself. So now I can see it looks great. And now comes the JDI feature. If you hold down command and alt or control and alt and drag one of your local adjustments, you can create a duplicate of it. So now we have two of these. And once again, if I take my mouse uh, over the panel, they will disappear. And then we can play around with the settings here on the right. There's also another thing which I would like to mention here. Instead of always changing the values on the right, if you select one of these areas or one of the local adjustments, you can also click on them by holding down Alt and then drag to right and left will increase and decrease the effect that you used. So in this case, because I use shadows and exposure, those two values will move accordingly to the right or to the left back to its original values. So that's also a quite useful keyboard shortcut with the local adjustments. And last but not least, let me show you another great JDI feature which was introduced in Lightroom 5 and that is a new shortcut for the spot removal tool. Now, we already discussed a couple of things with the spot removal tool, but there is also this very useful feature to change between heal and clone mode. Just like in Photoshop, if you use clone mode, let me just show you that, and I make my brush bigger by scrolling up. So if I want to clone something, I can always, uh, let's just say I click on this area and you can see whatever I copy over that part will be cloned directly there. So for example, if we uh, select this part here, you can see this is how it looks with cloning and this is how it would look with healing. With healing, the colors will blend together on top of copying these details from one place to the other. So we can see if I move it on the sky, again, it will blend with the colors in the sky. And to be able to switch between these two modes, now there is a keyboard shortcut and that's Shift Q. So if I press Shift Q, I can quickly switch between these two options for the spot removal tool. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found these features useful. And if you want to find out more about the rest of the JDI features listed below, then make sure you check out the Lightroom forums. And remember, if you have an idea how to improve Lightroom, just again, use these forums and uh, the Lightroom team will be happy to take your ideas on board. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time here on Tats Plus.